Hello everyone, long time no styling video but I am finally back with one and I feel like I'm back, I was going to say back with a vengeance but that is not the right term, like I'm back, I'm back with a bang because today I have the viral infamous Zara Molly May faux leather jacket and I also have the Primark Zara Molly May faux leather jacket dupe as well so I'm going to compare them in a second and show you both of them and then I've literally got about 20 clips I think like I literally planned so many outfits for this video I have about 20 different outfits to show you styling the Zara leather um the Zara leather jacket it's a lot of words going on there and then I also did a few charm clips styling the Primark dupe as well just because they are slightly different in length so I thought I'd do a little bit both in case you didn't manage to get the Zara one or you've got the Primark one or whatever I just thought I'd do a little bit both seeing as I had both of them so in terms of the leather jackets this is the Zara one this one is £60 it is absolutely lovely um it looks like this they're both like a faded kind of vintage style leather so this is the Zara one it's got a belt on the bottom which I do find slightly annoying and it's a cropped fit which works really well because it's really flattering however I do kind of prefer I'm going to try and pick it up with my foot so I don't have to bend down again I do slightly prefer the Zara one in a way purely because it's a little bit longer like it's a this one is a full length jacket and I do quite like that because I don't tend to wear many cropped things so in terms of what I have in my wardrobe already I feel like this does work slightly better um so the Zara one is longer and it doesn't have the belt on it but they both have like similar details on them like they've got um these kind of bits on the shoulders they're both like a faded um like vintage leather type look this one I got in a medium for reference and I'm a size six and five foot five this I got in an extra large because it's the only one they had left in stock like it was the only size they had left so this is a little bit too big for me um it does kind of swamp me a little bit so just bear that in mind like if it was a better size it would look better and I have tried them both on with the same outfit so you can see them like properly compared with the exact same outfit see what they look on so then you can kind of get your preference so those are the two leather jackets that we are styling in today's video I have my laptop here I'm now going to sit I don't know what this curtain bang is doing I've lost my will to live with it today it's really doing my head in I kind of want to cut it off but I know I will regret it but I'm going to sit here go through all the outfits talk you through them tell you where the things are from and hopefully give you some little outfit ideas on how to style this jacket because I feel like every one and their mum and their goldfish and their guinea pig has this leather jacket at the moment so I thought I'd give you some ideas and ways to style it just in case you were stuck in a little bit of a rut um, and didn't know what to wear with it so we will start off with one of my favorite items of clothing anyway which is the sisters and seekers t-shirt um, so I have this one on which says I can't afford to heart New York I paired it obviously with the jacket some like Dior style sneakers and this like New York um, Yankees hat I thought it tied in quite well together and this I kind of love like it's kind of very like bikerish vibes like grungy colour scheme sort of thing and then I have actually done um, a sisters and seekers t-shirt dress with the Primark one as well so I feel like we might as well chuck that in now so then we can see them together um so again it's a slightly different t-shirt dress but it's from sisters and seekers again and i've actually got the same trainers on with it um but this is the primark leather jacket so you can see how this one looks on and looking at them i actually can't decide which one i prefer like i do i wish the zara one was a bit longer and then i think that would be my favorite i just can't decide i'm not going to keep going on about my personal problems though on trying to choose between the two jackets we will now go for my next outfit which i feel like is a very like I feel like a lot of people would probably wear this outfit I feel like this is quite a popular one and a lot of people will probably wear their jacket like this so I've got a little like cropped black um top on from Pull and Bear with some leggings that match from Zara I've got my new balance on and then some sunglasses from Primark and then the Zara leather jacket and it's kind of like an athleisure look I love um this jacket with leggings I think it works really well because it's really really flattering and also like I wear my um my weg my weggings I wear my leggings super high waisted um so the cropped leather jacket with them works really really well and then I also do have a slightly similar outfit but this one I'm wearing a unitard but you could literally just wear leggings and a top as well if you don't have a unitard this one's from Pull and Bear I've got my Marks and Spencer's like ultra mini Ugg dupes on and then I've got my black Lululemon belt bag so again it's like an athleisure vibe um but then obviously with the jacket I don't know why I didn't say that I mean I don't need to say that it's kind of obvious um so again a very similar like athleisure vibe and I've also um, included a clip as well of me wearing the Zara one with it as well not the Zara one the Primark one so again you can compare and contrast and see what they look like moving away slightly from athleisure I feel like we should go for something slightly different I'm just trying to pick which one we go for we'll go for this one so um with this outfit I've worn some white trousers from Zara and then just like a white t-shirt bodysuit from Primark really really simple just like an all-white outfit but 
The trousers are a little bit more put together, but then this curtain bang is getting on my last nerve. Um, then the leather jacket kind of catches it down a little bit. And then I have done the same outfit again, but just with a different top from Zara and then with the Primark leather jacket. I didn't realise I'd done so many clips with both the jackets, but I suppose it's quite helpful. Like if you're like me and you've got both of them or if you're trying to decide which one to get or like which one to keep or whatever, hopefully this will help you out. And then moving on to one of my favourites, I literally have a very simple like cropped white t-shirt on from Zara, some jeans on from Pull and Bear, my Converse, a little tote bag and the leather jacket. It is such a simple outfit. I feel like this is like a staple outfit from like... 400 years ago like jeans a white top and a leather jacket it is so classic it is so simple i feel like it will never go out of fashion it will always be like a staple outfit so like you can't really go wrong with this and i do really like it i just think it looks really nice it's so easy to chuck on works really well for like a variety of occasions and i just really like it that's all i have to say we are now going to briefly move along from trousers and go for a little skirt because i wanted to show you a variety of outfits like athleisure casual a little bit more formal trousers leggings and also like skirts and dresses as well just to show you a variety of different ways to wear it um so this is a little two-piece knitted white set that i got from zara a couple of years back but i'm sure there'll be someone selling it on vintage if you wanted it um i've worn the like the dior like converse type things again and then i've got the jacket on and because it's like a little crop jumper with a short skirt i feel like the blazer works really really well and i feel like every outfit in this video is giving me grease vibes but i think that's just the leather jacket like I think I'm going to get those vibes no matter what I wear with it. Um, but yeah, I quite like this. And I think it works quite well with the trainers, actually, because you've got, like, white and black in the trainers. And then, like, the white from the skirt set and the kind of black-ish from the leather jacket ties in really well. And then I have also got a dress outfit. This one is just a dress from H&M. But it's literally just a simple, long beige dress. You could probably get this anywhere. Just, like, a simple maxi dress. Then with the crop leather jacket, I actually think it looks really nice. And I feel like... This is a type of outfit that I wouldn't normally choose to wear myself, but when I was out shopping in Cambridge, I'd see someone wearing this outfit and think, oh, she looks really nice. So it's kind of like one of those outfits, I feel like. And I do think it works really well with the maxi dress, actually. And then, of course, I've got to bring it back to athleisure. And I've got this, like, two-piece set, which is, like, a greeny colour, because... Although the jacket's not green, I feel like a dark green does work really well with it. It kind of picks up the slightly dark green tones in the faded leather, if that makes sense. Um, so this set is from Pretty Little Thing. The top is like a long sleeve crop top, but you obviously can't see the sleeves with the jacket on. And then I've just got some leggings with it. This was so comfy. I literally ordered it the other day, so it's like brand new, still in sort of thing. It's like a like a silky buttery feeling like set. It is so, so comfy and really easy to chuck on. And I feel like with the jacket and the leggings it's just so flattering on the bum and it's really flattering on the figure like i do kind of prefer the zara one for that reason i might just have to keep both i really cannot decide and then i feel like it would be kind of rude if i didn't pair the leather jacket with a jogger set because i feel like so many people would wear um the leather jacket with joggers so i thought i would do one because i have recently got this tracksuit from primark that i'm literally obsessed with so i thought it'd be rude not to wear that with the leather jacket so like i said tracksuit is from primark they do this in so many colors i mention it all the time because i love it so much and then just chuck the jacket on easy peasy comfy but i feel like the jacket makes it look a little bit less like i've just rolled out of bed type of vibes if that makes sense next up we'll actually go for the primark jacket just because I've worn it with this jumper dress, which we all know I love so much. It's one of my favourite items of clothing, which I got from Pretty Little Thing. Just chucked on with some Converse and then the leather jacket. And for this reason, I think the Primark one is nicer because this is like obviously a long length um, jumper dress. And I just think the full length jacket works better than the cropped one. But then again, the cropped one does look good with some full length things. So I don't know. I'm going to stop going on about comparing them now. Um, but that is a little outfit idea for the Primark one. And then we'll go back to Athleisure and back to the Zara one. Um, I've just got on the, it's actually a jumpsuit that I had on in the other clip, but it just looks like leggings. Um, with a black hoodie on, a tote bag, and then I've put on my New York Yankees hat again, and then my like um, headphones as well. And it's kind of, again, at leisure, kind of go into the supermarket to get my food supplies. So I've got my tote bag to put my tin tomatoes in. Got my headphones so no one talks to me, and I can listen to a podcast on my hot girl walk there. It's those kind of vibes, which is the vibes that I'm absolutely living for. It's a, I might pick up a nice caramel macchiato or a matcha on my way home, and then put the shopping away and log into a yoga class or a peloton class or something it's those kind of vibes which is the vibes that i'm living for i feel like i'm doing quite a good job today as well about not rambling about these outfits because 
if you're watching this video for the outfit ideas, which is kind of the whole point, you kind of just want to seal the outfit so you don't want to hear me rambling about them for two minutes in between each. So I feel like I'm getting through it, which I think is a good thing. Carrying on with the flow, I have decided to try some cargoes, which aren't very me, but I know people love cargoes, so I felt like I had to do an outfit um, styling the jacket with cargo. So these are from Pretty Little Thing. They're quite an oversized baggy cargo so maybe like a slightly slimmer one or like a straight down cargo jean might work a little bit better but I liked the dark grey of them I thought it would work quite well with the jacket and then with them I've just put on like a simple white crop top really really easy um but I just felt like I had to do that token cargo outfit I can't believe I haven't mentioned this one sooner this is one of my favourites it's a very me outfit um so I've got some white mum jeans on from Zara this t-shirt is from Boohoo I've got my New Balance on and then my Lululemon belt bag and then I've chucked the leather jacket on and the outfit itself without the leather jacket is very very me and then the leather jacket is like quite a new thing for me like I don't own a leather jacket other than these ones right here which I've obviously only just bought so I've never really been a leather jacket girl but I'm starting to get into it so this is basically just a very me outfit with a leather jacket chucked on top and I feel like it looks quite good and I love the leather with the white trousers I feel like with a white t-shirt as well this outfit would look so nice kind of like the all white vibes again with then the contrast of the leather jacket I just think it would look so nice and just like any top really white jeans leather jacket and just mix and match your tops it would look so good shock horror I have another athleisure outfit this one is giving me like the, the idea behind this one is basically like this is an outfit that I would wear to yoga and then I've just chucked the leather jacket on top so I basically just got some gym leggings on I've got my lululemon top which I wear top body yoga all the time and then I've got my lululemon black belt bag and then I've chucked the leather jacket on and I was just kind of thinking like if I was going to a yoga class and then I was like popping to meet a friend for a coffee afterwards this would be a perfect outfit because you're not having to get changed but then you could like go to your yoga class in your like jumper or whatever and then to meet your friend for coffee afterwards swap the jumper for the leather jacket and it just makes the outfit look that little bit more put together but it's just easy does that make sense that was kind of the vibe that i was going for or like you're going to the gym but you need a jacket to chuck on I mean, would you normally choose a leather jacket to wear to the gym? No, but if you're just wearing it for like the walk there and the walk back and you want to look good, there you go, that works. And then another very, very comfy outfit is this one. Um, the leggings are H&M, the jumper is from Sisters and Seekers. I did also try and do an outfit with the Sisters and Seekers um, yoga hoodie because that looks really, really nice with the jacket. But I wore grey leggings with it and I didn't realise they had mud on the knee and I'm not sure how that happened. And the outfit just was not looking very good um, because of that. So um, again, just like a hoodie and leggings works really well. And I've got a tote bag and my ultra mini Ugg dupes. And then this one is like a white shirt and short little outfit. Um, but the shorts that I wanted I couldn't find and then I found them about two hours after I filmed that clip which is really annoying um, but I thought I'd show you a clip of how you can like well show you an outfit of how you could wear this jacket in like the springtime to make it more versatile more worth the money worth the wear getting more like wears out of it um, so I was thinking like little white like boxer shorts with like, like a white shirt also realized I put the wrong white shirt on with this I wanted a different one so I'm going to insert a picture of the white shirt and short outfit that I wanted with the leather jacket on top and then with the try on clip and the picture you should then hopefully be able to see what I wanted because the shirt and the shorts and the try on clip aren't quite right um but I just think again all white outfit looks really nice even with like denim shorts the leather jacket would look so so good but all mine are in the loft it is only February so I haven't got all my summer clothes out yet but you could definitely make this jacket work in the springtime obviously not when it's like the random 38 degrees heat in the summer that we had last year but in that transitional period between winter and summer which is known as spring um you could wear the jacket and make it work with shorts and stuff i think it would look really nice and then i think this is the last outfit but if i've got any other outfits that i've forgotten to mention um or whatever i will insert them in here um but this last outfit is a very <laughs> this is very danny zuko vibes very grease um Again, the shirt isn't quite right. This shirt doesn't really work very well with the leather jacket. I should have put a different one on. But I wanted to try some leather leggings with the leather jacket and go for a full leather look because I thought it could look really good and I actually really like this. I think these leather leggings were from H&M. They're a really nice, like, kind of tight spray-on type vibe. Um, and then I've got them on with a white shirt, but again, like I said, not quite the right shirt, but maybe, like, a white oversized T-shirt or a different white shirt or, like, a white crop top. And then the leather jacket... I do quite like it and I think with like a slick back ponytail or a really sleek bun this could look really nice and like all leather can look really really sexy and I feel like this could look really good so that's my little 
token gesture there it's not the best styled outfit it definitely needs a different top but hopefully it'll give you a rough basis idea then which you can build on for your all leather outfit i was gonna say double leather double leather all leather that works so yeah that is it for this styling the zara leather jacket molly may jacket type thing primark molly may leather jacket dupe video um hopefully that's given you loads of ideas and inspiration on ways you can wear your jacket if you've got it or if you're thinking of getting it or even if you don't get like these particular jackets but just sort of any leather jacket in general i feel like a leather jacket is an absolute staple they never really go out of fashion they've been like around for years and they will still be around for years so it's definitely a really good staple to have in your wardrobe and you can wear it in so many ways which hopefully i've shown you in this video and given you some ideas of how you can wear it but yeah that is it for this video i have got another styling video coming let me just have a quick look at my uploading schedule i think it's coming next week yeah it's coming a week today so you've got one more week to wait and then there is another styling video coming your way which i'm really excited about so make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on that give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I've already said subscribe down below and I shall see you at some point soon in another video. Bye!